School, Hyderabad. Please welcome Ms. Aram Umrani. Her topic of declamation is, Give me peace, I will give you a great Pakistan. Start with the name of the Creator who knows what the best is for us. He knows when we all talk about sunshine, He plans to pour rain. He who knows, you might have someone to listen, you might have someone to ponder, you might have someone to bank on, you might have someone in your mind, you might have someone in your heart, you might have someone in your life, but I, I am someone who's in your sight when there is no one. I know when stand firm against the ill doings and happenings of my country, I might have no one, but I stand for a reason. I stand for the rights, I stand for the present, I stand for the future, I stand because I am someone to eco for peace, mutual relationship, universal brotherhood, that is the need of the day in my country. My country, my nation, shedding blood tears, seeing a brother killing a brother, seeing mother's abayas are been torn with cruel fear of influential Mr. President, peace, prosperity and joy. Reach high for the stars that lie hidden in your soul. Dream deep, for every dream precedes the goal. Kaidism in one of his speeches said, Pakistan does not only mean freedom and independence, but also Muslim ideology, which has to be preserved, which has come to us as a precious gift. This quotation clearly indicates that Pakistan was created on the basis of Islamic ideology which is the ultimate reason of Islam, a peaceful scenario. But after 65 years of independence, the current situation of Pakistan shows that peace has now become a dream. It is said that Pakistan is presently suffering from worse conditions. Terrorism has risen alarmingly. Innocent people are slain every day in suicide, bombing and target killing. The sectarian violence has gained a strong hold across the country. In the last six months, more than 70 persons were slain in the name of religion. More than 1,700 overall casualties have been recorded in the Statistics Bureau till August 2012 in different kind of violence. Mr. President, if this continues, then undoubtedly anyone can easily perceive the future of Pakistan's social, moral, and ethical values. Give me peace in Pakistan, and I assure you that you will have the best country in the world. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So, throw off the bowliness, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sail, explore, dream, and discover. I agree with this. I agree that there is no peace, but this land has given birth to Malala, who has become the source of inspiration for every individual outside the country. There is no peace, but a 14 years old boy met with success and vanquished by getting A1 grade and broke the record of 500 years of Cambridge University. There is no peace, but a girl named Kainat from a government college received the title of honor by attending UN assembly and she was invited officially. There is a list of successor but peak time is also a challenge for me. There is no peace and prosperity, but everywhere Pakistani people are busy to bring laurels for the country. If there will be peace, then what will happen? Just think. Sir, the presence of glooming flowers of Army Public School of Peshawar, again in their classroom, shows the form of determination, patience, self-devotion, and enthusiasm. Peace cannot be achieved through violence. It can only be attained through understanding. There is no way to peace. Peace itself is a way. Peace it starts from within. Do not seek it outside. If the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Peace is costly, but it is worth I end my speech giving you the words of wisdom. All I'm just saying is give peace a chance.